one of the features that we have in CS5 Extended, which is why I kind of saved this till, till the last video, is because you have to have the extended version of Photoshop, uh, meaning th there are two versions that are standard and extended. It's been that way for a couple of versions of Photoshop, but uh, 3D, 3D has really taken a leap forward in CS5. So we got it in CS3 Extended. Uh, it was good, but of course people wanted more. We got it more in CS4 and they changed some things. But in CS5, it's really starting to come into its own. And I want to introduce you to something called Repose. Okay, that's kind of the big feature. So we're going to create some text here. Because um, what we can do now is actually create, I'm going to go into Free Transform here, Command or Control T. Uh, kind of just make this a little bit longer. Uh, but what we can do now is we can create 3D objects out of just about anything, anything that you can draw with the pen tool or selection or even type. You used to have to fake this and it never really looked good. Okay. But now if you come up here to the 3D menu, which you're only going to see if you have the extended version, go to Repose and you can see we've got type layer. Uh, if you had a selected path or a current selection, of course we have a type layer. So I'm just going to rasterize this. It's going to bring us into the Repose dialog box where it's got all the different stuff that we can now do uh, to our 3D objects. Okay. Now, there's of course presets over here on the left hand side, and I'm not going to go through too many of them, but as you scroll down, you can see, like, uh, let's say I click this one, and you can see what's going to happen is it's, it's going to kind of extrude it off into the distance and also add a little bit of a curve to it. All right, so if you wanted to get some crazy things like that, um, let's come back here to our default one. And when you go below that, all these presets really do are come down here and start to manipulate some of these settings. Okay, so if I wanted to extrude my depth more, I could do that. I could make this uh, appear deeper. Uh, I can come up here. You've got this little uh, 3D guy up here where you can start to change the way uh, you're revolving things around. Okay, and change the way your object appears. And you can also move your cursor over the actual image, which this is not new. You've been able to do this stuff for a while. Uh, come down over here to scale. All right, so scale actually lets you scale it off into the distance, or what I like better is actually it comes up. Okay, in fact, we went a little bit too far there. Okay, so you can see here it starts small and then it starts to get bigger as it gets closer. Uh, the angle, this is how, how you get that twisted effect. Okay, that's a little bit much of the twisted effect. We don't quite want that much. But that's how you can get the, the text to appear to come as it's twisting. Um, inflate. All right, so check it out. It starts to actually inflate the surface. Now, you can see a lot of these things. Uh, I've just got some white text because that's the color that it started out as originally, but if you come over here to materials, you can see that you've got different materials that you can click on and uh, you can start, you can do grass. I kind of like this black one here, so we're gonna go with that. Um, and then bring my angle of my inflation down a little bit, but you can see how it kind of, see how it makes it, I, I guess inflate is really the best word for it. And uh, let's see if we can bring it down just a little bit. Okay, as you go through here, lots of different things. You can control the lights, the view, uh, your render settings, the, the quality, all the things that if you're used to working with 3D, all these things make, make perfect sense to you. If you're not used to working with 3D, a lot of these things are going to be really, really foreign to you. And in fact, they could take up an entire class in and of itself because 3D is a big topic. So I kind of wanted to introduce you to the fact that Repose is here. It's cool because now we can do we can do what a lot of folks have wanted in Photoshop, which is take objects and things that we've already created in Photoshop and turn them into a 3D and work with them in a 3D space and apply materials to them and all these different things. Um, but if you want to learn more about this stuff, keep an eye on KelbyTraining.com. Corey Barker, who's kind of our, our in-house 3D wizard, uh, he's doing a class called Mastering 3D inside of Photoshop CS5. And uh, if you're into this stuff, Corey's the guy to go to because uh, he's really he's really dug deep into this stuff and he's got a lot of interesting things to offer for it. Okay, But just know that it's there. Know that you can now take text, objects, shapes, paths, anything that you're used to creating here with the tools inside of Photoshop, you can now turn into a 3D object.